Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here again with another video tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to install and run a virtual machine on our computer. First thing we got to do is open up our web browser and go to virtualbox.org. So then once we're at the site, uh, let's go, come on, there we go. Alright, once we're at the site, on the left hand side, click on the downloads link and then just download whichever file pertains to your operating system. I've already got it downloaded and installed so I'm sure you guys can figure that out. So now that VirtualBox is installed we can just go ahead and open up the program. And then up in the left hand corner just click on new and a new window will pop up. Click next. Then name your virtual machine. I'm going to call mine Ubuntu 9.10 just because that's the operating system I'll be installing on my virtual machine. Click next and then select the amount of RAM you want your virtual machine to have now um, I'm gonna tell you right now that I would recommend that you at least have two gigabytes of physical RAM in your host computer just so you don't run into memory errors and stuff because this program is pretty hefty on resources so once you got that selected just go next and then just make sure these two things are selected because we're gonna be creating our hard disk click next a new window open up click next and then you want to select dynamically expanding storage and what that means is that it's um, as you need more uh, hard drive space for your virtual machine it automatically expands so just go ahead and click next and then I would just I normally just leave this at the default setting just because it expands so I'm just gonna leave that just click next review these settings make sure it's everything you want and then click finish and then just review all these final settings and then if they're okay click finished Alright, so now you can see that we've got our virtual machine ready to go. So now is the time to start installing the OS on it. So, uh, as I said before, we're going to be dealing with uh, Ubuntu 9.10 on this uh, virtual machine, but you can choose whatever operating system you like. Um, so the method that you normally go about doing this is that you just click on the start up at the top and it'll start right up just read through all this first time I already know what all of it is so I don't need to read through it again and then uh, just click next this is the first run wizard and now you're gonna select where the operating system is on your computer since this is uh, Ubuntu I burnt it to a disk so I'm gonna select it from my D my D drive if you have an ISO or an image anywhere else on your computer if it's downloaded from the internet you can also select that but since I'm on a disk I'm just gonna leave it at my D drive and then just click next and then just hit finish and the operating system will load right up just read through all this and as you can see it booted up and uh, the keyboard is fully functional so it's pretty cool actually so I'm gonna scroll down and select install Ubuntu And then it should just load right up. Alright, so now that it's loaded up, we can just follow all the on screen instructions. And this should all be pretty self explanatory so I don't think I really need to do any explaining here alright so just make sure you're selecting the right hard disk I think it should by default just be your virtual machine but just make sure it is I'm sure you wouldn't want to overwrite any other partitions that you might have alright so I'm just gonna review all this yep it's pretty good and then we can just click on install
Alright, so the installation completed successfully, that's always good. So just click on restart now and the computer or the virtual machine will restart. And it should boot right into the operating system. So the disk should eject from the CD drive and you can just take that out because we're all done with it now. It says please remove the disk and press E and then hit enter. So we did that and then it'll restart itself. Alright and Ubuntu is booting up right now and we should be at our login screen at any minute. Alright, that booted up pretty fast, so we can just go ahead and type in our password and click login, and the operating system will boot right onto the desktop. <laughs> As you can see, we are running a full version of Ubuntu 9.10 right inside of our Windows 7 computer. So I hope it helped you set up your own virtual machine. And if you have any questions or comments, if you got stuck on a part, or if you'd like me to clarify something for you, just feel free to leave a comment because you'll never find out if you don't ask. So just thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any video recommendations for future videos, just please leave a comment or send me a message. I'm always looking for new videos to post. So once again, thanks for watching my tutorial, and I hope you found this informational. Thanks again for watching. Bye.